welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. I am a first year fourth grade teacher and right now this is my life. I am surrounded by boxes because my building is under construction and I am moving classrooms because my building doesn't have enough classrooms right now for all of the sections that we have. So every single item in every single classroom has to be moved out before the end of the school year, which is now about a little bit less than two weeks away. Um, we have to be completely moved out by the last day of school. Our badges stop working on the last day of school. So it has been a whirlwind and that is why I haven't posted a video in so long. I've just been so crazy busy. Right now I'm surrounded by like 35 boxes and I have been packing up for a while but before I started packing up I filmed this room tour. Now I really wish I would have filmed a room tour at the beginning of the school year when everything was like nice and neat and perfect and wonderful. Not perfect but was wonderful um, but I didn't. So you get to see this raw real classroom after a year of teaching and oh, I really hope you enjoyed it. I have loved my first year of teaching and I hope that this brings you some joy and some inspiration and I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has donated to my classroom. Last summer I posted a ton of videos of setting up my classroom and a ton of viewers donated via my Amazon wishlist and seriously my classroom would not have been possible, um, not all the stuff I have in it at least, without those generous donations. So thank you so much to all of those people. It seriously warms my heart so much and yes, um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Woo! All right, so when you're outside my classroom walking in, this is what it first looks like from the hallway. I have some clip art at the top that I got off TPT, my Bitmoji, um, subway art, and then I just found this little mat from Dollar Tree. I think it's super cute. On my door, this is what I have going on over here. And then let me close this and we can go on in. Now, as I mentioned, things are not perfect. It is the end of the school year and I am in the process of moving. So these boxes were not here all school year, don't worry, but they are there now because I am packing up to leave. That is my job this weekend. So when you first come into my classroom, standing from the door, this is what it looks like. So it's a pretty big open space. It's actually um, not as big as it probably looks. So it's actually one of the, I think it is the smallest classroom, one of the four smallest classrooms in my building. Um, but my class size isn't too crazy. So it ends up being just fine and I really have utilized the space that I do have. All right, so when you first walk in and you look to the right, so like my door is right here, you're looking over here. This is an area that I have right by my door that has our three values that we have like as a school, respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Then when kids come in in the morning, they make their lunch choice. So they would move their magnet with their classroom number on it over to either school for school lunch or home for home lunch. This is just a little magnet board that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then this is actually just a baking sheet that I got from the dollar store. And then I put some bulletin board, uh, what do you call that, bulletin board trim on it. And I put vinyl. And um, I really, really, really like how it turned out. Over here, I have a class list, but obviously it's covered. And then that is another class list that has our breakfast stuff written on it because my school does offer free breakfast for every child in the school so we do breakfast in the classroom every morning and then we just have to mark off like who took it and who didn't down here i have these three bins with my little bitmoji by it so i have turn in scrap paper and file i have my little bitmoji right here on the pencil sharpener you can read that and then I have these two little pencil cups which are looking very sad at the end of the year. But one of them says dull and one of them says sharp. And then the kids just sharpen the pencils. It actually is one of my classroom jobs. So that's why they don't do it while I'm teaching. Um, they do it either before school or during recess. And then this is what I used for my mailboxes this year. And I definitely will continue this. It does not take up a lot of room which is nice. And it's just really, really easy. So I just use this file system. And I really like it. You can see a couple of the kids forgot their mail. But yeah, it works really well. And then down here I have my little lost and found. I have a recycle bin and a trash can. So that is this area over here. And I really feel like this is a smooth area for sure. I really, really like how it's set up. So you can see the door and this area over here. So I have this grit um, big lettering that I put up, I think over winter break I did that. 
and then I have some different people who show grit. We talk a lot about grit. I think grit is a very important quality and we talk about how not everybody has it, but it's such an important thing to have. So there's just like little biographies of lots of different people who have shown grit in their lives and like what they've done. And you know what, I could add so many other people onto there as well, but those are just some of the people I selected for my grit wall this year and I definitely wanna add more next year. Then up there, this is from like the first week of school. I have respectable, responsible, and ready to learn. And all the kids sign their names on those. Now this is looking kind of sad because I started packing it up already and then remembered that I wanted to do this video. So this is my math vocab wall. This used to be my wow work wall and I used to show student work on here. Um, these are just built-in cabinets, obviously. But I wasn't putting enough work because I didn't have student work from every single student all the time. Like it's just so hard to get something that I can present like from every student all the time if you know what I mean so I wasn't like switching it very often so I decided to utilize this for math vocab instead and at one point I had it like all filled up but I started taking it down already I actually have a bunch of them stacked right here that I already took down so I didn't really think through this also I created anything that you see that looks like that wood background I created for my classroom because I just like everything to match so anyways, I'm going to take those down probably after I film this video, but I, like I said, I took some down and then stopped. So that's there. And then I have this little writing process pencil over here. I really, really love this. I just added this really recently. It's from TPT. And then I created this over the summer just to show kids like, you know, what your paper should look like. I have these little envelopes that have checklists in them. I need to actually laminate the envelope. Those are not laminated yet, but I just created these on PowerPoint and the kids take them to their seat and they're laminated as you can tell and they just take a whiteboard marker and check off what they've done. This bin right here is for dried out markers. My school actually recycles them, so I put them up here so I remember to go take them down to the office eventually when I get my bucket like all the way full. It is amazing how many markers you go through as a teacher like I had no idea like expo markers you guys there is not enough in the world there really is not and they're so expensive so yeah I just feel like we go through so many expo markers like to the point where at the beginning of the year I used to have my kids writing on whiteboards all the time and now I like hardly ever do because we just don't have enough markers um, I have a little scent plug-in right here this is just like a wax melt thing from Walmart I used to do essential oils in here um, but I don't really do that anymore and I just have this with like I don't know a little like I said scent melt thing wax melt thing that is not on all the time but is on some of the times and then over here I have my new wow work board which is right by your bathroom which you know is not the best spot but what can you do so I instead of having student work shown for every single student I just have three up at a time and I found that it's a way better incentive and kids get really excited when they see their stuff on there so I did I try to change this out at least once a week um, and yeah I've had a really good response from the kids so far I have a little readers our leaders poster that's the bathroom door right there this is just a command hook and then I made this and they can just flip it around they're pretty good about using this and um, I've had that since the beginning of the year and it's really been a lifesaver now my classroom next year because like I said I am moving it will not have a bathroom inside of it I'll just have like a community bathroom in the hallway so I won't have that next year but it's there for now and then I just use a little bathroom sign out right here so the kid signs their name and then go to the bathroom and if they notice that the bathroom's dirty when they go in they're supposed to do a little check when they go in before they actually use the bathroom so if they notice it's dirty then they just tell the person to go clean it up this is our maker space over here so during indoor recess kids are able to use whatever they find in here and they can create all sorts of different things um, there's like little scrap pieces of paper and old flyers from Scholastic and they seriously love this you guys they do great with it and then this is a teacher hack if I have ever seen one these are my barf bags you guys anytime a kid feels sick they go grab a barf bag and put it by their seat and if they need a barf they use it and I'm not kidding you guys it's like a wet washcloth like it literally makes the kid better it's amazing then I have this wire rack which I'm hoping I'll have a better spot for it next year in my new classroom because my other classroom that I'm moving into is larger um, I actually just got this fairly recently a teacher was throwing it out and I was like yes please I would love that so I just have a bunch of different series of books on here and I think this thing is so cool I hope that next year I can get it like all filled up and looking a little bit better but that's just kind of like what I have going on right now 
And so here's your view as I'm like backing up of that whole space that you just saw. Um, really quickly, front of my room, I'm just gonna like really briefly talk about this. That quote I put up there at the beginning of the year before school started, I made it those letters with my Cricut. Front board, I have my learning goals, I have any reminders, homework, absent folders. Oops, I'm not pointing in the right spot. Absent folders, that's my math board over there. I have all my picture books stored at the front of the room for the most part. Um, I have my reading focus board over there, reading focus over there, schedule for the day. Now I know that's like a super generic overview, but I'm just going to like show you it. And hopefully if you have any additional questions, you can just ask me. And then I'll kind of go more in depth over here. So this is my desk space. You'll notice I don't have a chair. It's because I'm literally never over here. Also look at the hot mess that is this area, but what can you do? So anyways, this is my desk. I am literally never over here when the kids are in here um, unless I'm like changing a PowerPoint slide or something, but that's like basically it. So I don't even keep a chair over there because I'm literally never there. This desk I bought, um, actually my mom gifted it to me from Art Van because there was no teacher desk in the room when I moved in and I did want something for the desktop to sit on before it was just on like a random table like this, um, which was big and inconvenient. So <laughs> this is my desktop. I use this to take attendance. I have to use it to print anything I wanna print, et cetera, et cetera. This glowing light right here is to my cue ball, which is right here. I just, just got this this past week. I got this through a donor's choose, and I actually had a viewer named Neely um, do a donation toward this, so thank you, Neely, so much for that. This thing is so cool. The kids are loving it, and I'm really excited to play around with it a little bit more, so super pumped about that. Let's see if I can get it to stay still. And then over here I have my dot cam. This just came with my room. Um, I have a little Ray Dunn teach cup. I made that Mrs. Hall's vinyl thing to go on that Target pencil pen holder thing. One of my students brought this back for me after winter break from Florida, which was really cute. And then I have that from a teacher friend. And then just a bunch of like cards and pictures and fun stuff from kids. I have to cycle these out. I have to take them down a lot because I just get a lot of love, you know? So I take a lot of them out and I take pictures of them and then put them in a binder and save those for a rainy day. So these are just some of the most recent ones <clears throat> that I have up right now. Under my desk, you don't really wanna see what's going on down there. That is from a <laughs> classroom mini transformation I did. And then I loaned out those items from my math bakery to a Melissa and I got them back and just shoved them in a box because I didn't get a chance to actually put them away yet. <laughs> And then I just got these privacy folders like a couple months ago, a few months ago. These were donated to me off of my Amazon wish list, and these are super awesome, you guys. So I'm loving these. The kids love them. They're just seriously perfect. So if you need some, I would definitely recommend this brand. I really, really like them. I have my sub tub down there, um, which I think I've talked about before, but basically everything the kids... Ah! Bummer. I'm just going to leave that for right now. Anything the sub needs is in there or on the floor now. I have my star tickets up here. That's my class-wide PBIS behavior system. It works really well. We love it. It's going great. So I've used that all year. Over here, I have the beginning of my library. Now, <laughs> this library does not look its best because I honestly already started packing up books. I had a bunch of books up on the top and I had books over here. And you'll notice like some of the bin, some of the shelves only have like three bins. Well, they all had four before. Um, so I know, I know it's not perfect, but... What can you do, you guys? I needed to start packing. So basically, all of these ones are organized by genre. Blue is realistic fiction. Purple is historical fiction. Pink is fantasy. Um, yellow is graphic novel, and so on and so forth. So um, I have that all explained right here. There you go. And then we have our reading graffiti, which I know I've talked about in vlogs. So the kids just write some really cool quotes that they find in their books. This leads into our study carol or our little mini storage room. I'll just show this really quickly because I know I've shown it before. And I already kind of started tearing this room apart as well. But there's that. Not really going to go into that space. But it's there in case you're wondering, in case you're new here. Then I love this part of my classroom, you guys. This is by far my favorite part of my classroom, even though it's looking a little sad right now. 
I still love it. And you guys, this classroom, especially like this part of my classroom, would not be possible without you guys. Um, so many people donated to my classroom library. Like it is astounding to me. And we have some amazing books. Like my kids love to read. They love our classroom library. And it's just been such a huge blessing this year. So all of these books are arranged in series. Or I do have some of these bigger baskets right here, which all the baskets, all these little ones are from Walmart. And these bigger ones are from Amazon. And so I have award winners, teachers' favorites, diverse characters, and then I had new arrivals and two bins over here, but I already packed up those bins. Then I just showcased some picture books on here. Now I'm super excited because I actually just got a new, much better shelf um, for displaying picture books that was delivered to my house. It was from a really sweet subscriber named Jennifer. She is amazing. She's donated so many different things to my classroom and I am so grateful. But because I'm moving out, I didn't really want to move it in just to move it back out. So I actually have it in my storage room at my house right now. But Jen, thank you so, so much for that. I'm so excited to replace this old thing with that next year. But for now, this looks pretty great. Um, a lot of these are honestly still from Black History Month, but... I never really switched it out because we just have so many good books over here and the kids love this section and they seriously read these books like every single day some of them and some of them are longer books too so it like takes you a while to get through them but also every so often I have a couple of the kids go through and like display new books and it still ends up looking like this which is kind of cool so anyways that's what I have going on over there. Then I have my little futon. My kids love sitting on this futon. I got it for $20 off of Facebook Marketplace which was such a score. And everybody said, Kim, you should not get a white couch. And I said, I like it. And so I got it. And no regrets. I really like it still. I have a little poster, which is no longer centered. It was centered above the couch. But then I got that little bookshelf. And so now it's not. But that's fine. I have this little table right here. And my idea was to kind of make it look like a coffee table. Because I wanted this area to look like a living room. Which it like kind of does. I don't know. I think it's really stinking cute to be honest. Under there you'll notice that I have some cushions and then that's my return bin for my classroom library. Back in this space, <laughs> this is probably one of the messier areas of the room and that is all my fault because this is my space that I spend a lot of my day at. This is where I pull small groups, this is where I meet one-on-one -on -one with students and this is where I love to be in my classroom because this is when I get to really know my students one-on-one -on -one and um, I don't know, just teach them more directly than if I'm doing a whole group instructional time. So I really love being back here. I got that chair off of Amazon and um, right now I have my laptop and my iPad set up because it's the weekend and I've been lesson planning. Um, but typically I have that kind of set to the side and I usually have one of my progress monitoring binders out or I usually have like a whiteboard out or something. Um, and then I do have a whiteboard back here as well. I have a little um, shelf area over here another trash can too which is handy so we work on a five plus detail retail which I just created that and then put it in this um, little like what do you call it pocket chart thing have some of the MTSS materials I use with my kids um, this is what I have going on over here this is my view from the back table so I can see like the whole room and what everybody's doing when they're working in small groups around the room or independently and then over here, I use this cart for just about everything as well. This is all of my Dibbles materials right here. And then I just have like my progress monitoring binder. I have my guided reading binder, which I just created those. Oh, sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing. Um, that blue bin right there is like handouts and stuff. And then I have my reading and writing strategy books. I just put this back here um, for an extra recycle bin because I'm always having to drag um, my papers from the back of the room to the front of the room for um, recycling. And so I've just made like a little recycle bin here so I can just dump it all at once and make my life a lot easier. At the beginning of the year, these were labeled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then next week. Um, but I actually changed them because I needed a spot to put my stuff to grade, file, and other. So, yeah, I kind of just figured that out as I went. Teacher toolbox, pretty awesome. This spot over here is a popular spot, especially for a couple of the boys in my class. They, like, love sitting over here and working together and reading together. And it's, like, such a comfy, cozy spot because I have this, like, awesome bench seat, which I'm really bummed I will not have that in my classroom next year. But I'm thinking maybe I can move that stuff on top of those benches and have the kids sit on there instead. 
but I love this area. I think it's so cute and comfy and cozy, and that's really what I was going for with my classroom. I have some little stool, or not stools, what are those? Um, cushions down there, and then just other flexible seating options. This is all built-in storage, and then I have the 30 book challenge on there, which I'll try to talk about in another video maybe, because I feel like that would take too long right now. Um, there's a lot going on in here, you guys. I don't think I'm gonna go through every single cabinet. Um, here's one, though. So this is all a bunch of scrapbooking cases, and you can just read the labels on there, but it's just how I organize some of my materials. I think I'll like really quickly show you what's inside each one, how about. Here, this is Reading Street curriculum materials, and I've already packed like, a, I think like how many boxes? Nine boxes worth of Reading Street materials, so. Uh, yeah, and it still looks like this, so kind of horrific. There's like so much that goes with that program, you guys. It's kind of insane. And here I have math curriculum, which I have not even started packing this yet, so need to do that. We use math expressions for our math curriculum. And here, this is science and social studies. I packed up most of my social studies. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is embarrassing. This is so messy. But it's real life. I apparently just threw a bunch of my classroom transformation stuff in there from the last two classroom transformations I did. Oops. You live and you learn. <laughs> and then this one is classroom supplies. Again, kind of messy, but I do let the kids in this cupboard, at least a few of them, to grab stuff. And I don't always check it and clean it after, so that's why it looks like that. Um, I'm hoping that I will have a good space for all of this next year that fits well. We will see, but I'm hoping. And then last but not least, this one has indoor recess stuff, which just never stays super clean, and I'm fine with that. Um, we had indoor recess, like, literally every single day last week. It was horrible. <laughs> um, some really popular ones are the Legos. My kids really like to play even with, like, the Unifix cubes. Jenga is pretty popular. Connect Four, for whatever reason, all the kids play it like every single recess, it seems like. So some popular ones in there for sure. And I try to do quality over quantity. I don't have like a ton to do in here, but I definitely have like enough stuff, I feel like. And I have like dress up stuff if they ever wanted to use that, but they haven't really done it. Um, I have reading focus, weekly focus stuff. This is just taken right from my Reading Street curriculum, and then I put it on there. Reading Street board, schedule... This is my read aloud book that I'm doing right now and the kids are so into it and it's such a good book. Um, up here I have, this is the star ticket stuff I was talking about earlier. So I do a star ticket drawing every Friday and I pull like two or three tickets and then they get to put their ticket on their reward choice and then when they want to use it, they just take it off and use it. So kind of nice. I always have my stools right up here with my curriculum books because I'm supposed to have them out as I'm teaching. Um, that's one of my requirements. And I would love to have like a podium or something to stick them on, but I don't have that. So for now, <laughs> I use those two stools and then just kind of move it around as I move around because I do a lot of moving. Um, I have my team points right up there, another behavior incentive, um, one that my kids really enjoy. They like some friendly competition. And yeah, this is my room from back here again. And I'll just do kind of a slow turn. I think I explained basically everything. I have tables in my room with team numbers. I have curtains over there. There's my sound system. Um, this big bulletin board paper is from Hobby Lobby. I got it on clearance and I really, really enjoyed it, but I will say like you can't put tape on it. I learned that the hard way. You have to staple stuff into it and it gets super weathered because my building does not have air conditioning and so you'll see like it looks kind of crinkly. It did not look like that when I first put it on, so that was kind of a bummer, but I definitely think it's something I want to do in my new room next year as well. My rug is from Amazon. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. And like I said, my theme was just trying to be really like homey and cozy and I wanted my kids to feel safe and loved and just like they're part of the family here at school. So 
that is my room. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I would love to have you back here. I post all sorts of different teaching related content and also just life related content, some vlogs and fun stuff like that. And I haven't posted a ton recently because I've been doing this, <laughs> but I wanna start posting some more this summer and maybe doing like some tip type videos or just some vlogs in my life and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. Remember that you are so incredibly beautiful and loved. And also remember that your self-worth is not based on what you have in your classroom. If you have a classroom that has the bare minimum and you are doing a great job as a teacher, you don't need all of this stuff. This is just stuff that brings me joy and stuff that I really love having for my students, but it is in no way necessary. And if you are a first year teacher and you are seeing this, just know this is not what your first year classroom has to look like. This is not a standard. This is just something that I decided to do and something that I invested a lot, lot, lot of money into um, because it was what I wanted to do. So anyways, with that being said, I love you guys the most and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming